Hi there, Taurians. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm Astro Girl and great to speak to you. And what a week and what a month we have ahead of us. Of course, it's October, so the Sun and Jupiter are aligning in Libra, which of course is a sign that you share the rulership of Venus with. This week, Mars in Capricorn, your ninth house of travel and higher learning is a wonderful thing, especially for those of you who have been thinking about traveling and maybe traveling for work, asking for a transfer overseas or anything like that. A metaphysical group may catch your attention early in the month as Venus and Mercury team up to visit ultra-spiritual Neptune in your solar 11th house of groups and friendships. If you're searching for answers to the big questions, Taurians, these people may be able to point you in the right direction or at least give you some idea of where to start looking. Venus, the goddess of love, will be on duty in your solar seventh house of personal encounters until October 17, all done up in sexy Scorpio, a very sexual and sensual sign and also a sign that doesn't take no for an answer, much like yourself. Considering your expertise in this tender department, if you're attached to your partner is going to be pretty happy because your libido is going to be going through the roof if everything else is working well in your relationship. And if you're single, don't worry about being lonely or missing out because you're sure to meet some really fascinating, sexy people that you could either have a, a fling with or something more serious with. People born under the sign of Scorpio, and Capricorn are both excellent matches for you. A lucky turn of fate regarding either a work situation or a loan inheritance arrives around October 14, when thoughtful Mercury will get together with practical Saturn, who never passes out presents you haven't earned. Keep an eye open for any and all subtle kudos or slaps on the back from higher-ups and enjoy. Fiery Mars will square off with unpredictable Uranus towards the end of the month, creating a volatile, passionate energy that could cause you to lose your legendary cool Taurians. If you've been stewing about something that happened weeks ago, stew no longer. It won't take much to get you riled. Clear the area of any innocent bystanders as soon as you feel that your things are getting out of control. And remember, getting upset, that famous temper of yours and allowing other people to see it and even take advantage of it, not a good idea. So just keep your cool this month. Have a great week, great speaking to you, and I do look forward to speaking to you again next month.